Hey everyone, Alan Schechner here, and today I'm going to talk about how to learn finger control technique. And the good news is, this exercise is extremely easy. All we need is a solid vertical surface. So for this example, I'm just going to use a cardboard box. Alright, so I'm just going to take the stick and press it up against the box, and then without using the wrist, I'm just going to rotate the, the stick up and then back down. So notice I'm not moving it with the wrist, it's just the fingers. Okay, so just get used to that motion, and then you can experiment changing the speed. What I love about this exercise is you can do it on almost any surface. For example, you can do it on a drum head, You can do it on a wall. Works great on a Jacobs practice pad. You can do it on a CD. You can even do it on your hand. But of course it works the best on The Art of Transcribing Drum Set Book 1 by Alan Schechner. So just like training wheels on a bike keep us from falling over if we lose our balance, playing against a solid vertical surface will help keep the stick going straight up and down. And that's really important because if it's wobbling all over the place, we're probably going to be hitting our sticks together and clicking rims as we move around the set. Also the sound could change because different parts of the drum create different pitches. And also if we're really striving to get speed, uh, the quickest distance between two points is a straight line. So if I'm coming from here to here straight up, that's, I don't know, four inches. But if I kind of curve around to get the same height, if I straighten that line out, I'm actually using a lot more motion than is necessary. So let's check out an overhead view so we can see what this looks like from the drummer's perspective. So as you can see, we can generate a lot more speed by using the fingers than we can with just using wrist. So if you're a technique nerd like myself, uh, I'd like to show you an exercise that you can do that will build each finger individually. So I'm holding the stick between the first joint of the index finger and the thumb, and if I just let go with the thumb, the stick is going to bounce back up and I just caught it. So the idea is to do that without actually letting go with the thumb. Alright, so then next add the middle finger and do the same thing. And then you can take that finger off and then put the ring finger on, work with that. And then finally the pinky. From there, then put all the fingers on, and you can practice a lot of things. We can work on dynamics. You can play really quiet. I'm also playing really slow. And you can work on mid-volume. Mid you can play reasonably loud with this, but obviously we're going to get a lot more strength when we get wrist involved. So as important as it is to work on our dynamic control, it's just as important to work on our timing.
starts to become more natural, the next step is to rotate the, the wrist over so the thumb is now on the side. Because this way we're not limited to just finger control. We can start getting the wrist involved and even arm for more power and mobility around the drum set. I hope this video helped you to learn finger control technique. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.